Hey, this is Replica, a game for two to four people where players try to score most points by collecting nitrogenous base cards of the same color as their scientist card. To start the game, shuffle the four scientist cards and give one to each player face down. You may look at your scientist card at any point in the game. Shuffle the four RNA sequence cards and give one to each player. Put it in front of you face up. The player with the lowest number begins play. Shuffle all base cards and action cards into a single deck and give six to each player. Reveal cards from the top of the deck until there are three base cards revealed. Shuffle any known base card back into the deck. Throughout the game, there should always be at least three revealed base cards. Place the DNA sequence card below the deck. During your turn, you can do any two of the following five plays. You can perform the same play twice. Play a base card from your hand to pair with a revealed base card, following the rules for pairing bases. Play a base card from your hand into your RNA sequence that pairs with the top row of paired bases in the DNA sequence. Every time you place three bases on your RNA sequence, grab an amino acid token from the box. It is worth three points at the end of the game. Discard a card from your hand and draw a card from the deck. Play an action card from your hand. Reveal a card from the deck until a base card is revealed. Shuffle any revealed non-base cards back into the deck. When you finish your turn, draw cards to have six cards in your hand. When pairing bases, if the newly created pair is closest to the deck, it goes down to the DNA sequence. Once a pair moves down to the DNA sequence, move all revealed bases and pairs closer to the deck. Then, if there are less than three revealed bases, reveal cards from the top of the deck until there are three revealed bases. If not, it stays with revealed bases until it is the closest to the deck. A stop card stops the DNA sequence. When you play it, other players may play a stop card from their hand to cancel yours. If another player cancels your stop card, it is cancelled immediately. If no players choose to play one, collect every card from the DNA sequence and put it on a pile in front of you. This pile is called your collected cards. In this stop tracker, move the token forward as it counts towards the end of the game. All players then collect every card from their RNA sequences and put them in their collected cards pile in front of them. Mutation cards let you break the rules of pairing in the DNA sequence and RNA sequence. To play a mutation card, Play it on top of any revealed base. Then select any base card from your hand and put it on top of the mutation card. Be careful with mutations. When there are three or more mutations in the DNA sequence, discard the DNA sequence and all RNA sequences. No points are scored. RNA sequences with three or more mutations are also discarded, but they don't interfere with other sequences. The game ends as soon as all 10 stop cards are played, a number of selves is successfully stopped, the deck ends. Count the number of base cards of the same color as your scientist card, they are worth 1 point each. Then add the points scored by each amino acid token you have, worth 3 points each. 
the player who scored the most points wins the game.